You know, the uh, U.S. Army used to have a really good TV commercial, and the punchline was, we get more done before breakfast than most people do all day, and that's pretty much what's happening here. So I've just started putting in the new canvas. It's about an 11-ounce weight. It's about um, equivalent to a pair of chinos or, or fashion denim, I suppose, but it's very strong in tension. So as you can see, I've now I this time because of all of the machine sewing in here, I can't do my usual practice of tucking the canvas into this fold so that the canvas is butted right up against the buttonhole, which is right there. Can't do it. So next best, it's going to be right here. The canvas of the front apron will be able to go right butted up to the seam. So that means this will be strong, but it won't be quite as strong as my usual work and I'll pass on that caution to the owner when he picks up his kilt. So in any case it's pleated to form the radius, it's not glued in place <clears throat> and because when we look inside we see that remember we'd robbed a couple of pleats so there are these cutouts. So what I'm going to do is I've put a line there to show that we're going to have the um, um, top strip bare so that we can sew the lining into the canvas but the the cloth is going to be stabilized by sewing it to the canvas in these short strokes here which which represent um, herringbone stitches so that this will be stabilized and held by the canvas so it'll be, it'll be as strong as if this was one integral piece of cloth so I'll just flip that back in place no, I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to sew it from this side or flip it over and sew it from the other underside. But the, the, the net effect is it'll be it'll be stable and uh, it won't be hanging down. So, so there we go. I'll get this done. Let's see how much of this kilt I can get done before uh, people who are having a bit of a lie-in upstairs decide to stir themselves and come out for coffee. Cheers.